there's storms happening in their life here, yes. right? Storms and and Jesus, the the storms, the problem that is being created for them is the waves, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves. So well, the that's the problem. Was against them. They're if being the wind had been for them, they would be doing great. But the wind is opposing them, which is and they're being up the waves, and they're so far out. It's like going back is not an option. We got and they're being beaten by the waves. Beaten and how many times in our lives is that a perfect description of what our life feels like? Yeah, we're being beaten by the waves. Right now, in a previous story, Jesus just stopped the waves. Right. He doesn't stop the waves here, but they see Jesus walking on the waves. These yeah. waves that are their problem. Right. This is their oppression. This is their struggle. This is their challenge in life is the waves. Jesus is walking on them, over yeah. them, dominating them. He is not thrown off. He can make it four miles walking. They're stuck with the waves beating against them. Their boat can't move. He's and, over it. And that storm, those waves are the vehicle by which he is coming to them. Just like the storm in your life is the vehicle by which God will use to come closer to you. And you yeah, so we're, we're looking at lessons, plural, learned yeah, in a boat with Jesus. Right. Not every interaction with Jesus goes the same way. Sometimes when we have challenges in life, Jesus is with us and Jesus he just stopped them. Right. Time for peace. Done. Peace be still. Right. And the peace shows up in your life. And, and it's a miraculous, you know, whether it's a, a healing or just Sense you know, of presence. financial blessings or just peace that comes into your life immediately. Other times, Jesus is using those waves, those challenges. He doesn't tell them to go away. Because yeah. he wants you to experience him in them. And we're not going to, next week we talk about Peter getting a chance to actually experience this for himself too, which is the ultimate miracle that's being called here. But sometimes the waves won't stop, but you can still see Jesus in them. And he is not affected by the waves. Right. Because what do they know about Jesus? Based on what they learned the last time they were out here in a boat with him, they know he can calm the waves. He They're stop expecting him to do that because that's what he did last time. But that's not what they need to see here. They need to see Jesus through the waves. And the reality yes. is he is going to carry them. He's coming to them and he will help them through the waves. So our, our experience with Jesus should not be dependent on our circumstances, on our environment. That, that is a lesson to be learned, yes. He is using our environment to show us him, and he's going to show up in different ways. Like, it's not, like, every every experience with God is not going to be the same in our life. This is going to be different. So you can't just take, oh, this is what God did last time, so he's going right. to wash, rinse, repeat that cycle in me um, the exact same way. He doesn't have he cookie always, cutters in his drawer. He doesn't use cookie cutters. Right. His cookie cutter is, he's always working it the same way, like in, in Colossians, where he's going to stretch you. He's, that's going to be the same. He's going to be stretching you. You're going you're gonna to learn more about him. You're going to learn about, more about his will for you in, in his life, in your life. Um, but it's going to be done in a different way. Like he's playing 5D chess, uh, <laughs> probably 10D chess, you know, yeah. like, like and chess, we, but it's we understand checkers and so we're like oh i see he's gonna take that red one and, and he's gonna double jump and king me right uh, and he's like no man king you i got other things like there's right. pieces on this thing you don't even know about right um that are, that are above and beyond what a king, what two checkers stacked on top of each other are right <laughs> are you gonna settle for that really that's all yeah. you want of this yeah um and it's like but but it's different and so i think that as we walk through the lessons that you know, sometimes I think it's like you, you go through a story in the Bible and you're like, all right, so how am I, how does this apply to my life today? Right. And so I don't, you, whoever's listening to this, like you're in a different place in, in life. Like some of you have Jesus in your boat and then last week's message really spoke to you now. But I, would, I think, I think all of these stories of Jesus show up in our lives in different ways at different times. And so 
to to be able to go back and look at your life and say, you know what? Wow, that that's what was happening then. Or to to prepare, like, hey, these are gonna these different stories of Jesus in a boat, these are gonna happen in your life. If they haven't already, they're going to. So to be prepared to look for him. Look for him when the waves come. When the storms come, where's Jesus? That should be your first question. As right. if life gets difficult, you're getting frustrated, things are coming at you that you're not prepared to handle. Where's Jesus? Is he in that boat? Or did he send me from somewhere else? Is he coming out on the waves? Like, what is the miracle that he's going to work here? Because he's going to work one. He is coming. And he Where? will he will show up. The question, He may show up in a way totally unexpected, but it will be in a way that will teach you, that will grow you, and that will meet the need that you have, your greatest need at that moment, uh, which might not be a dry towel, which is probably right. what they thought they needed. Uh, and so Jesus's message to you is right here at the end of this passage, verse yeah. 27. Um, Cause as soon as they freaked out again, he uses the word immediately again, yeah. as soon as they freak out, he says, take heart. It is. I do not be afraid. Yeah. Waves are still happening. Right. Their circumstances have not changed at all. They've just seen Jesus. And he said, I'm here. Don't be afraid which are the two things you need to know most when you're in the middle of a storm. He's here. Don't be afraid.